lovely friends and family. A warm welcome back to my channel. So today we are making our very Zongo favorite breakfast and supper or breakfast and dinner depending on how you call your evening meal. So we are going to be making our cocoa and all this in communities. Okay, so um, I'll show you how I made my Aosa Koko. These other ones, these accompaniment, I have some awesome. bufflet or to bread. I have some tea bread and I have some sugar bread. Okay, so these are what we normally have with our cocoa. I also have some granuts and cut here, mm, peanuts, and I have evaporated milk. Okay. Some people love to have this with evaporated milk, and I am one of them. Without evaporated milk, chabrin will not happen. Okay. So also cocoa, another name for also cocoa is chabrin. If you don't know, today I'm telling you chabrin. Maybe as I go along, I'll tell you why it's called chabrin. If you know it, you can drop it down in the comment below. Okay. So, yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, I'll show you how I made it, then we'll come back to how it is said. So, Here are our ingredients okay just four ingredients well we'll add water to it so okay so i've soaked the millet overnight okay so millet i have ginger i have chili flakes or any chili we do and i have black peppercorns and then i have cloves okay you can add grains of salem when tia but um i didn't add it okay so what i'm going to be doing is i'll add all these um um spices to it okay and blend it that, that is all there is to it blend it and then we strain it okay that is all we're going to be doing and i'm just showing this bit that i'm doing um it was a big production i made a lot but i'm just showing you this bit because i don't need to show you all the nitty-gritty of what i did because it's just repetition okay so once you blend it and it is very smooth the next stage for you to do is to sieve it okay so it's on the you i'm going to use this fine sieve or fine strainer and what i do is i just you know use my spoon a big spoon to just stir it to make the um straining easier okay and quicker and at the end i add some more I, I you don't worry about adding water a lot of water to it because you need the water to cook the cocoa anyway so i don't really mind i just use that and and um, once the i get a you know a very the chaff out then that is it. look at how nice and smooth it is so i'll, I'll set it aside right and then usually i set it aside overnight and the water settles on it and this is the water that settled on it okay this is another batch i've already made yeah so that's the water so that water that settles on it you pour it into a saucepan and you add some normal water to it if you are making a lot and the water is not enough okay i was making a lot so i needed to add some water to it so i'll cover it and let the water boil so once it boils i'll transfer it onto my kitchen counter and then you add your cocoa so we don't cook it on the stove no you you need a, so what i normally do is i use a saucepan that it's heavy base that can retain heat so that the hot water will still sort of be very hot it doesn't cool down quickly okay then i add my cocoa so you stir it as you stir it you stir it for a long time then you see that it starts to thicken okay it starts to thicken um right you don't need to cook our sakoko on the stove but then if you find that you're staring you're staring you're staring nothing is happening it means your water wasn't hot enough okay so what it means for you is that you need to add some heat or something so what i need to i, I stir it it's a long stir and it, once it gets a bit thicker what i do is i set it aside cover it and when you cover it you know the heat will be contained and then 
it thickens up for you okay so the rest i'm just adding boiling water to it and i'm here i'm, I'm straining the water because it's from the kettle and i don't want any lime scale to escape into my cocoa okay that's why i did that so um if you don't have any lime scales in your um kettle then you don't need to strain your water but i do that when i use a kettle you never know when one will escape okay so you stare at that one too i'm not going to show you but i'm just just showing you how another way of doing just adding hot water to it is also another way so if your cocoa is not thickening you can just add hot water to it and it will thicken otherwise you wouldn't have any choice to, but to introduce a heat which would be to put it on a stove but then it doesn't doesn't spoil anything nothing spoil because a cocoa only anti but that is not the traditional way of making cocoa we don't cook it so look at when i let, let it sit for a bit you see how nice and silky and smooth and thick it has become okay the more it sits the thicker it becomes okay so now i'm transferring it into my big pot my big selling pot okay Maybe, you know near my transfer so that i get a lot so that's what i'm transferring all my cocoa in and now my big pot is full it's not full but i i am a just a a dose one fine mm. it's not full i could have added more but uh, yeah seriously I drank this cocoa. The cocoa bored me yare. I said yare and yah some keto. Two days. <laughs> Maybe I I made it ferment too much. I don't know. Minimo minim cocoa there there. Okay, so I'm giving a stir and then um we obviously we're going to the market. Yeah, you know the drill. Yeah, cotton. We're going to the market. So um. Zongo, the market can be anywhere in front of a kiosk, in front of somebody's house, in front of your whole, own house. It's market. Wherever you sit to sell, it's your market. Okay. So, me, I'm going to be sitting in front of Obilo Tokyo. So, I say, the market. So, here I'm covering it with a, a plastic bag or a plastic rubber or whatever you have. Okay. This is how we do I'm just showing how we, you. You'll be surprised. People are making house cocoa from YouTube and doing things, but they've never actually experienced traditional where the zongo you go and buy how it looks like. They haven't. You'll be surprised. So I need. That's why I'm showing how it is. Then they use a rope to tie the, um, the 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 plastic bag on top of the saucepan so that then later on they open the side. Okay, that is where they'll be scooping it from. Okay, as I go on, you see, sir, you see, sir. Really, really, pa. I'm a real Samira. Mini experience, baby. <laughs> so you see, sir, Charlie. But yeah, that is how it is. And this is everything set up. I have all my nkominis, my tea bread, my buffalo, uh, my kose, my sugar bread, my katia. It's all there. Okay, it's all there ready to be served. So if this thing resonates with you, please give me a like and then comment down below because Charlie, it's not good. If you need Adrian in Tizongo, they remember that song. Adrian in Tizongo, yeah, Adrian in Tizongo, yeah. It is served like this in a big pot, bigger than mine, okay? But it is served like this, and then we put it in our calabash. Kra, or what? Korea. Hmm? Korea. Korea or Kra, okay? And usually, there's a very specific spoon we used to have. We call it made in baking gota. <laughs> we call it made in baking gota. It means that it was made at the mouth of the gutter. <laughs> it's a spoon. A spoon that looks like a, a, a ladle or a ladle. A small spoon that looks like a ladle. That's what it's called. Made with some cheap aluminium. It's called made in baking gota. Okay. So... Let's get so, right into it. Yeah. You open it this way. And then our Korea spoon. That's what we'll be using it to scoop our cocoa. So today we have our favorite customer. Okay. His name is Jacob. <laughs> and he's going to tell us what he wants to buy. Okay. So Jacob, um, what are you going to buy today? Ajara Samira. Ajara Samira. Today that is the name. Ajara. <laughs> yes, the same. Yeah, check up. Yeah, check up. Okay. So definitely it's cocoa pen or pet. Yeah, turn to cocoa. So what we do is the sugar goes in first, like that. Yoko boke sugar open. So sugar. Three teaspoons. Tablespoons actually. 
then what to cook? Why? And I say, I say, cook a boy deal. I say, a a tokono, a tokono, millet, no, the boy deal. See, I'm cook, I'm cook. Oh, to cook, I say, cook three Ghana. Three Ghana. Can I buy some? Eh, brother, you come buy some. I buy some in pan. Yeah, sure. Because three Ghana is a this a trade me and some three Ghana. Okay, then we use this too. When you see what high the bed, it's very clean. Uh huh. Go there, we turn on. I will say it's your sim, because it's your na. It's clean, clean. Yeah. Uh huh. So we give it a stir. That is how we stir the cocoa. Then usually they they will give you jar. You come from a good customer. The man in jar like a crack, a crazy. Me a repeat customer. A repeat customer. Oba. I'm not to find any real name you bring in. I mean, my business now grow. Me don't watch any way in. I mean, I break. You say, you say, me sit down where he casts what? Right, you go up and milk. I try milk a cry. Okay, right, you go up and milk. Inti, right, you go be a customer, just customer. Okay, inti milk. I mean, susu me shape mama was here. Oh, customer, just customer. Hmm. The best mama na one day. I'll try. Eh. I'm a more American no more. UK no. I'm a move from UK now. First, I'm breakfast and you cook. So those who are in America and UK before, this was used to be your breakfast. And because you're in America, no, it's these days you only eat bagel and cornflakes. and toast. And then your mama will watch you because a dog all okay, kind those times. Oko thirty seven, no, I alive. Oko thirty seven, Oko fruit trot tra. No, I alive, no. A yagro. A yagro. A dog got it. Brad, you come. Oko no, me the best half for now. Why? I'm fine talking. Okay. Got it. Mhm. Mm so bread, you can open tea, open, open the bread, open then open both float, and I call say and I sugar bread and I tea bread. Hmm, I want tea bread. Me prefer tea bread. Okay. Any call say me you know. Hey, me Any both float to buy one. Cheese. Both float alone coffee infinite. Now, call say now call uh, size of the both float. Bread. What a shock. Bread, you could taste your zongo taste. That is the bread. It was still cold, no. Both lot no come fin fin. So both lot no come fin fin say. Hey, it's all like where there. Now when so 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 you lie, baby. How the cold said about kwa shaha. Kwa shaha. Why? Midasi. Akra. Naja kwa kaso beto biya koma yero ofi. Oh. Oba. I know you don't be near the Yeah, brother, say more. So we are going to serve a Jacob. Jacob, this one is to go take away. Take away. Come to me, my euro four cities or bread. I will three cities. So, you know, to me, three cities. Euro or pay Juanian Casa. We repay the reality. It's a good one. I'm a shocker. 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 Where is also on this sugar? 
Because I don't want to buy one I don't know. 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 I So, I'll see them to crack a moment. So, what movement to know? Any say, say the hello. Hmm. Well, if you don't know this one, then please. Say the hello. Perfect. Yeah, mix it. What you say? What is that? Nah. Mimi, sir. Hmm. Adi, adi, oh baby. So funny, see me so. Hey, both float too. They both float back and half far. Come here, come. Yeah, meeting with the is it game? I come is it is again. Some way, some more cool chrome. Oh, now we be cool. We come with chrome. Ah, meeting with me again. Hmm. Hmm. This is really, it is really, really good. This recipe is the best cocoa recipe. I tell you. Hmm. Mm. And the buffaloes. Mm. Mm. I'm not exaggerating, you know. I'm actually feeling the cocoa. <laughs> so, so before I go, I want to um let you know what I'll be obviously people will be wondering what I'll be doing with this cocoa because I'm not going to be selling this cocoa as as you obviously can see. I'm going to be drinking it myself. And it's going to take me a long while to drink it. I'm going to be drinking it every day. So um, I'm going to be preserving this or storing this. Okay, so I'll be sharing my video of how I preserve or how I can my Aosa Koko for it to last for days, weeks, and months. Okay, so if you're like me and you love Aosa Koko, you love to drink it every day like me, then please make sure to look out for that video it's coming very soon so you see that video on how i preserve it okay so be sure to click it when you see it out there okay all for joining me today too and for checking me out um thank you so much and um, for always coming back to support me okay so if if you haven't liked this video please Give me a like okay please give me a thumbs up on this video these days when you like it it gives you a very beautiful animation okay click on the like you see that will turn into some um multicolored thumb dancing for you okay please click on it right now you know what i'm talking about okay and share this video okay share this video because cocoa recipe is very simple even if you're in new york you can have do your own cocoa recipe wherever you are very delicious zongo pepper pepper no don't no bear no care okay share it out and please 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 subscribe if you haven't subscribe and let's grow thank together. you and god bless you for coming to support me today too and may god bless you and keep you amen amen <laughs> and see you in the next one bye